The show that you are about to watch was filmed right after a massive lockdown here in New Zealand. The instant that we went to level two, myself and Milan just had to get out fishing. And when I finished the video, editing the video, I didn't want to release it because it was really similar to the most recent video we had on the channel, which was camping and fishing in the rain yet again. On top of that, I had a video from me and Milan catching big kingfish on top water lures and I wanted to release that video instead. So I thought I would just load this video to YouTube and leave it there and if we got caught out in another lockdown or for any which reason I couldn't produce a show, then you could just watch this one right now. All right bro, let him rip. Hey. The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricant. The hammer is about to drop on another lateral line overnight fishing mission. Milan was here earlier today getting all his fishing gear rigged and ready. Rods with reels attached are rigged ready to rock, tucked away in underneath the dash on board Sojin ready for tomorrow. Our brother from another mother, Andre, is crazy keen to get out fishing with the boys as we have been in lockdown and haven't been able to go fishing for the last like five weeks I think it is. Andre was also here today picking up some burley so he's all set for tomorrow morning. Andre, his dog Odie and Andre's 16 year old son Luke will be camping on his boat for the next two days and we'll just be rocking around together trying to catch a fish. The plan is to be up and leaving here before 4 a.m. tomorrow morning, which will put us at the spot where we launch our boat right on daybreak tomorrow. The weather forecast we have for the next two days is an absolute shocker. Lots of wind and rain is forecast, but tomorrow will be our very first opportunity to get out fishing after being in another lockdown and as of right now Auckland New Zealand is still under a level 4 lockdown and I am 100% sure that any one of my Auckland fishing brothers would love to be able to switch place with the boys and go fishing in the wind and the rain that is forecast rather than being stuck at home. So it feels horribly wrong to be staying at home considering that fact. We are instead going to make the most of the time and the freedom we have. And as always, regardless of the wind and the rain, it will be a ton of fun being out in the wide open spaces so I say, challenge accepted. Bring on the wind and rain. What a day for a fish. Go Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining, it's pouring. The boys are going fishing. We ain't going to work though. <laughs> it was what you call a rigmarole to get the boys on the water this morning. We turned up to the boat ramp as planned on daylight, got out of the truck, had a stretch, and it was windy, and it was raining, and it was an hour before low tide, which isn't ideal, so we all, well actually it was Milan's idea to go around the corner to the campground and uh, get ourselves somewhere dry and warm, make a coffee, have some breakfast, wait for the tide to come in, and we were just gonna launch the boats at the campground, but. Once coffee and food was in the belly, the boys got itchy real fast. So we ended up jumping back in the trucks, driving all the way back around to the boat ramp that we were at at first light, and then launching the boats there. Me and Luke drove the vehicles back to the campground because we don't like leaving our vehicles with trailers and stuff at that busy boat ramp because I just, I just feel like they're going to be in the way and I don't want to be in the way while everybody's trying to work and do their thing. So yeah, vehicles are back at the campground. So then walked out and jumped on the boats. Bait has already been acquired 
and not only did we manage to get bait, but we got what I reckon could very well be the very best bait in the Coromandel in the form of slimy mackerels. They are just awesome. Everything eats them. So we've got the bait. I just kicked the anchor out of the front of the boat. We are anchored up at a spot that we were fishing right before lockdown. And right before lockdown when we were here, we seen a big kingfish. And right now with the wind direction that we've got and the conditions that we have, this spot is perfect. So we are gonna sit here, burly's pumping, live baits are deployed, and fingers as always crossed for a big fish. My uh, filming this time around is going to be a little bit limited. I'm hiding in under an umbrella at the moment. I'm not going to be able to fly the drone or do anything too creative in my filming. So I'm just going to do the best I can with the umbrella. Keeping the phones waterproof, but the um, audio equipment is not. And the phone without the audio equipment is just full blowed out. So yeah, I'll do my best with what I've got. Milan's keen as, he can fish in the rain, that's no problem. So yeah, just kicking back, Andre and Luke are at a different spot. If they start cleaning up, we'll go there, and if we start cleaning up, they'll come here. I think kawai too. It is a kawai. Yep. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's going out on the big gear. 100%. Oh, what a green bait. For this time of year, it's winter time and there's big fish around. So having a big car wide to swim is awesome. It's a 30 kilo bait, so you want to put it out on the big gear that you can stop. A 30 kilo fish. I was just going to say, what do you mean stop? You oh. like big bait. Just move up the coast a little bit. Sitting sideways in the slop isn't a lot of fun. Nato and I get seasick. And we're sitting this way and the wind's coming this way and the current's going that way and you can't do anything. So we're just going to move up to the next point. I reckon it's going to be a lot nicer than we are here. Nicer. Windier but nicer. Yeah. Wind with tide at least. Yeah. If a potter orca came through, would you put the drone up? <laughs> if a potter orca came through, would I put the drone up? Yeah. yeah, I'd take the risk. The weather isn't as bad as what we were told it was going to be. It's not even raining right now. I can see rain just about everywhere I look, but we have wind with tide where we are. The burley's pumping perfectly. Andre's just turned up, dropped the anchor, so we're going to sit here until high tide and then at high tide we have a spot X where we have done extremely well in the past on an outgoing tide, the first like three hours of the outgoing tide, so yeah, kick back here, have something to eat, wait out this incoming tide and then when it hits high tide, we're going to go catch a big one. And did I mention that Milan's put like three snappers in the chili bin? Little lunchy and dinner. Little snappers. lunchy dinner snappers? I wouldn't say I'm excited about them, but it's food. Would you rather be on lockdown? Exactly. <laughs> You'd rather be on lockdown? <laughs> no, that's exactly. I'd rather be out here. Yeah. yeah, it's far more fun, that's for sure. Here comes the rain. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Here comes the rain. It's going to go round us, man. <laughs> I love your optimism, but somehow I think not, son. She is like... <laughs> it's all bad. Hey, Andre. Can I come hop on your boat? Oh, nice, brother. Hey, Marlon, what are you doing, man? Nice, Andre just caught a mean snapper. 
and I'm trying to seduce them into the burley trail. Have you got any bait on your hook? I have this one. Well, Andre's catching fish, man. What are you doing? Looking pretty in the corner. Looking pretty? You'd be a whole lot prettier if you're hanging onto a big snapper or a kingfish, man. Especially if it was one as big as Andre's one. No, I want a 30 kilo kingfish. Oh. Luke's got one too, man. Luke's got one, Andre got a big one. What, what, what's wrong with it? Look at Luke's one. Is this thing okay? Look at Luke's one. <laughs> Holland's green. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't use a sinker. <laughs> Andre and Luke are two kilos. Andre and Luke are hauling them in. And Milan isn't catching very much. It's raining again too. I like the way you've done the mayonnaise. It's a bit flash, eh? Just lay it out. Do the old squiggle wiggle. Hold the perfect bait knife. <laughs> bit of bait in your sandwich, mate. Yeah. Should be right, eh? Bon appetit. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. Cher cher, bro. Oh, it's high tide. Time to go. Time to move. Lunch has been had. Only the one kahawai though. Let's go find some fish. Go that find is actually some fish. The problem actually finding a fish. A fish. Stupid, stupid September we call it. Stupid September. Yeah. Unless you go out wide and go do the top water. Yeah. And that was the plan to go top water fishing from now on. Got out of COVID. Weather was absolutely brilliant when we we're in lockdown, and then come out of lockdown it's 30 knots. Can't go wide. So we just head back to Coromandel. We can't go past Auckland, so we're stuck. But the Coromandel's pretty cool. Just not the September. So it's not perfect. Well, not perfect. But it'll do, I think. The boys have arrived at spot number two and it's not exactly ideal, it's pretty windy, it is wind with the tide, which is a must have I reckon, but I don't know, I'm just not feeling the love, but in saying that I don't think I'm going to feel the love anywhere at the moment, the forecast is, like I said at the start of this video, a shocker, so we're just making the best of what we've got, and there's always a chance, and here we have caught a ton of fish, but it always is when the conditions are right for here. Rule. Might be the spot, eh? Well, if there's a heap of kawai and snappers in the burly trail, the lateral lines on the kingfish will be sensing the action. Got him. Nice one. Oh, big snapper. Oh. How big a snapper? It was like a real good one. Like well, bigger than we've caught today. Well, you haven't caught a very big one today, so... <laughs> hey, that's a dinner fish, man. More rain on the way. It's grey as. It's coming fast. I'm going to be back hiding in there pretty soon. Milan hooks one. It's looking good. There's kawa everywhere. Just caught a nice snapper. Wind just dropped off. Wind just dropped off, but there is a heap of rain coming. Big swirl at the back of the boat. Come on, kingfish. Nice work, Milan. One for the tank, even. Oh, the rain's just hitting us. My umbrella idea's working the cracker now. <laughs> hey, Milan. Check me out. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> What's the whose name? The What's that? The lady with the umbrella. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. That's another good snapper. We'll have him. Ain't gonna be picky today. Can I have a look at him before you uh, akuma matata him? 
I might nice. be climbing under with you for a bit. <laughs> we would normally put the tent up, but we've got a long way to go to where we want to anchor tonight. So putting the tent up just means I've got to take it down and then it gets all wet and it's just easier that mainland gets wet. I'm happy getting wet as long as we catch big fish. Where's your big fish, man? <laughs> I want to get it over your head. Oh, the umbrella. Oh, hang on, I'll just rock it over this side. Oh. Yeah, my umbrella's not so funny now, is it? Oh, a little slimy's just gone and the current's picked up. So now we've got a slimy live bait and the kawai live bait. We've got a burly trail full of kawai. We've got a burly trail with snapper in it. <laughs> it's looking up for the boys. <laughs> Things are getting serious. I reckon there is. If there's heaps of little ones, there's got to be a bigger one further back, isn't there? It's just getting better and better and better. Yeah, it's perfect now. Today is just getting better and better and better. I just got enough of a break in the weather to put the drone up, did a quick squiz around the boat, and while I was doing that, Milan caught the biggest and best snapper for the day, and then I flew out and done my very first time lapse with the drone over the water, and I am super excited to see how that comes out. Not only that, but Milan reckons he's going to have to stop snapper fishing pretty soon because he's only like one off his limit. So uh, <laughs> it's all good. The boys have got fish to eat tonight and fish to take home and we've still got another day of fishing to go. So yeah, it wasn't so bad after all. Nice little tasty morsel going out the back. Smack him! Did you get him? Got him. Got him. Whoa, that's a new PB for today, isn't it? Yep. Well, that's the last snapper for me. I've been pretty bored waiting for the kingfish to turn up, so catching snappers has been pretty good. Otherwise, I'm winding up Nathan, and that ain't a good thing in the back of the boat. <laughs> Melan's limited out. Well, considering we very nearly didn't come on this trip, I am so glad that we did. We have had the most insane little patch of weather. The forecast said nothing but horridness, and we've had an awesome couple of hours this afternoon, and it's now glass flat, there's no wind, no rain. Milan's filled a couple of little snappers for dinner tonight. Um, we're just about to pull the anchor, head into our anchorage nice and early. I think I'm gonna climb up on the hill and film a nice time lapse of the sun going down and get the tent up, get comfortable and chill out for the night, wake up tomorrow to, <laughs> fingers crossed, another forecast that isn't forecast, if that makes any sense. It's supposed to be more wind and more rain tomorrow, but I'd love it to be like it is right now. But anyway, we'll get in there, get organized, get comfortable and uh, just enjoy being in the outdoors once more. Where's your sluggo though? Right there on the surface. What is it? Kingfish, bro, it's kingfish. Quick, 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 quick. Kingy, kingy, kingy. First kingy we've seen all day. Right there. Quick, Milan, quick, 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 quick. Cast that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. That way, that way, that way, that way. Come on, please. Cast straight out the back of the boat as far as you can. How big was it? Big enough, 10 kilos or something. Oh, wow. 
Well, now at least we can say we've seen a kingfish. <laughs> we were just heading into this bay. This is our bay that we had picked out for the night. It's going to be completely sheltered in the easterly wind that's going to come up tonight. And then Milan's like, oh, what's that on the surface? So I jump up on the front and it was a kingfish. And it's a super shallow bay. The water looks super, super clean and clear. I got my fly rod on board and I reckon the drone, if that fish stays in this bay, it's going to be real easy to find, and I just might be able to catch him on my fly rod, or Milan might be able to get him on a on the sluggo. So, yeah, it ain't over yet. Now we won't find him, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering if I should just put the drone up. What's that just there? Hey, Milan, never mind your little cooker, bro. Have you seen what Andre's got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I cook mean food. Can't deny that. I can't deny that, no. That's a serious piece of kit, Andre. It is, eh? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'm like coming out to sea for a week. What do you reckon, Oates? What do you reckon, you crazy little dog? He's been eating raw fish. What have you been doing today, mate? You've been fishing, mate? It's fresh snapper and curry rice after lockdown. Go, Milan. Doesn't even need a big flash barbecue. <laughs> this big flash oven barbecue thing over here. No, Just give Milan a can of gas and watch him burn. Exactly right, man. <laughs> That's all I ever used before, too. What say you? It's pretty good. It's pretty good? Wait till you eat it. Sick, mate. Go to the snapper. Andre and Luke have got spuds and sausages. The garlic bread, and then we've got some salad. Garlic bread salad, spuds and sausages. Sounds good. Sounds good, eh, Luke? Yeah. Good morning, time, Marlon. Morning time, mate. We've got some water in the boat, bro. Yeah, it rained all night. I had the dilemma this morning of how I get out of bed without getting wet feet. <laughs> <laughs> and I chose to get wet feet because there's no easy path. Well, that was the very best sleep that I have ever had on the boat, bar none. It was awesome. It rained all night and I got to be tucked up warm in my tent. <sighs> Too cool. No wind, absolutely no wind. We hardly moved all night. It was like I was in bed at home. Although the boat has a little bit of water in it. And I've somehow got to get out of bed and function without getting wet. You're but getting wet because you've got to get down the back of the boat and get the water out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here we go. The Marco shark swimming in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Got a swimming pool, mate. Yeah, the, mar the Marco shark was swimming, bro. Is it up to temperature? Is it ready for a spa? Yeah, yeah. Let's see how much water there is. I want you to hey, eat. Hey. Ah! Dude, you did that on purpose, man. <laughs> <laughs> so the half full. It's like a little rain gauge. Oh, rainwater drinking the rainwater. What is it? Tell last night. <laughs> so much 
nicer waking up the sunshine? <laughs> I actually like the rain. It's something different, man. <laughs> There's a few suspect splashes going on. That kingfish, we oh look at all the pipers. Yeah man, something's chasing those pipers for sure. Whoa. Kiwi fruit even. There has been absolutely no rush to do anything this morning. The boys have just been chilled out, listening to the rain, watching the rain, had breakfast, had coffee, talked a bit of hoo-ha, and the plan has been hatched that we're going to go and just target snapper. We have only seen one kingfish this trip, and that kingfish was by chance. We only seen the one kingfish last trip when we were here, and this time of year it is just hard fishing the way that we fish. So we're going to go snapper fishing, going to get some bait, We've seen some bait out on the, uh, there's a rock here coming into the harbour. Go out there, get some bait, and then go make a plan to catch some snapper. I would really like to go and visit friends and family that I haven't seen since the start of lockdown. And it's always nice turning up with a couple of snapper fillets to uh, make people smile, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's us. Gonna get Odie, and then we're off snapper fishing. Here we go. Now it's got a couple of dolphins. Check them out, bro, right at the front of the boat. Oh, hey, cool. What's that, Udi? Oh, that's pretty cool. Got a bit of a treat today. Woohoo! Here he is, me. Here he is, me. Udi, oh, there he is. Look at him, me. Can you see him, Udi? What is he doing, me? What is he doing, me? The big dolphins, eh? What does he do? What does he mean? What does it mean? What does it do? Go get him, man. What does he mean? <laughs> Odie's not too sure. <laughs> jumped out of the water for us. Get him out. Oh, that's so cool. They're up in there even a meter of water now. Look at them. Look at the size of that one. Okay, Eddie. Okay. <laughs> it's raining and I got the biggest smile on my face. What an awesome little experience. Every He's single time one. we see dolphins, it's just awesome. Andre rung us up and was like, we know where there's some bait is. Check it out, it is layered. Got to lift the wine, bro. You gotta lift the wine with Mackies, is there that many of them on there? Yup. Oh, I'm going back so I can Here see them all. Five, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that makes life easy. What are you doing, Milan? Oh, we're going to give it a go here. It produces snapper and kingfish. We've got a three live baits, and that's it. Andre's going to go out and fish another mark, and we're going to see if he catches fish. We're just going to communicate with each other. We're going to try a straight line session for snapper and put a live out and see if we can pull a king. But the kingfish are very few and far on the ground, so I don't have too much high expectation for kingfish. 
Whoa. That's a beautiful looking bait if you've ever seen one. They are spectacular, aren't they? They are. Especially if they get eaten. Big snapper on size that, but that is what it wants to eat. Big snapper smashing into real good. Yep. It is raining yet again, and yet again, NATO's confined to the shelter, otherwise my audio system's gonna get fried. Mingland half an hour ago was like, oh, we should take the tent down, we won't need it, it's not raining. <laughs> Neck minute. You can't even see the other side of the gulf at the moment, it's a total whiteout. Andre's only like, I don't know, maybe two, three hundred metres out there, you can hardly see him. And she's pretty much wide out that direction, and I'm stuck underneath the, stuck in down there, or stuck in under the umbrella. <laughs> oh, it's good fun though, right? Do you stay at home? Go fishing in the rain. Go fishing in the rain. Yeah. Couldn't do it any longer. I just had to brave the weather and put the tent up. So the tent is up, and now that the tent is up, we're standing here wondering why we didn't put it up like an hour ago. <laughs> That's all good. Kick back and try and catch a fish as always. Meanland's doing his very best. try and if we put beautiful baits over we might just catch a beautiful fish. Milan reckons he's got a snapper that we're taking home. Ooh. We're oh, definitely nice. taking that one home. <laughs> it's worth the rain and the wind. Uh. Hey, hey. Well, nice Milan. Perseverance in the wind and the rain are slowly but surely producing the snappers. <laughs> Happy as with that one. <laughs> nice work, Milan. He doesn't even care. Look at the baby one behind us. Come on, move for us. The oh, one? the baby one on the rock. I didn't even see that one. Hello. We very, very nearly didn't go fishing this time around as lockdown has kept us from making our last two videos and we were kind of like, what does it matter if we miss a third one, that and the fact that we had a shocker of a forecast and on top of that we were extremely limited to where we could go considering Auckland was in full lockdown and there was no going north. And myself and Milan have been planning to go north for the last spot seems like forever and we just haven't been able to get there. But I am super glad that we did make the call and just go and brave the weather and get out of the house and just enjoy being out in the open again. And despite all of the challenges, we ate fresh fish on the boat like kings and we even managed to bring some fish home. So we got fish to eat for dinner tonight and I got some fish to spread around to friends and family and so does Milan. Just the simple act of trying to catch a fish to eat and hanging out with the boys is all that I need to put a huge smile on my face. Next time you see us, I am desperately hoping we are casting stick baits and fishing topwater lures because right now it is topwater season in New Zealand and we are missing out. So once again, thank you all so very, very much for watching. I'm going to shout out to all my brothers in Indonesia. Got a heap of comments coming through from there at the moment again. And to that, choo choo my brothers. We will see you all again very, very soon. Thanks for watching. 
What do you got to say for yourself, Marlon? I'm all wet. You're all wet. I'm all wet. <laughs> wet from Wayne. Wet from cleaning the boat. The lateral line is proudly partnered with Vertex Lubricants.